You know, one of the greatest relationships in the Bible between Jesus and his followers is that of a sheep and a shepherd. He's the shepherd. We are the sheep. Now, sheep is strange because they're not two smart animals. But they can follow a shepherd. We're looking mainly at John chapter 10. Right now, verses 4 and 5. And when he, the shepherd, puts forth his own sheep, he goes before them. And the sheep follow him for they know his voice. Verse 5. And a stranger they will not follow, but they'll flee from him, for they do not know the voice of strangers. You know, when you come to Christ, and he lives in you through his Holy Spirit, you know and understand clearly his voice when he talks to you, and he does that very often. You don't hear it by the ear, but you hear in your heart, and you know it's God's voice. It's Jesus talking to you. Now, when you haven't received Christ, you're like most people in the world, you don't know one voice from another. But like it says, his sheep, they know his voice. And they go away, they run away, flee from other voices like the strangers. Somebody of the devil wants you to do something, you know what's wrong. <laughs> you don't even entertain it. And in verse 10, the thief does not come but for to steal and to kill and destroy. But Jesus said, I am come that they might have life and they might have it more abundantly. The only way to have the abundant life that is a happy, peaceful, completely safe life is through Jesus Christ our Lord. I know years ago, before I came to Christ, I was doing my will. And like it says, there is a way that seems right unto man, but the end of thereof are the ways of death. I would be satisfying myself. Maybe occasionally I'd help somebody else, but mostly it was me. One of the ex perfect examples to know a Christian, they do not serve themselves. They serve Jesus, and they serve others. They're, they're, they exist on this earth to be a blessing to God and a blessing to other people. Telling others about the Savior that they too may be saved. And so Jesus came to give us life much more abundantly. In fact, outside of Christ, we hardly live. We just exist. We breathe. We go about our own activities. Most of the wrong. And we don't know the joy of serving the Savior. And down in 14 and 15 verses, he says, I am the good shepherd. I know my sheep, and I'm known of them. As the Father knows me, even so I know the Father. And then he says, And I lay down my life for the sheep. No human being could ever do that. There are a lot of human beings that do a lot of good works, and they've done a lot of good things. But not one of them could die for your sins or die for my sins. Only one equal to God who came to this earth and lived 30 plus years never sinned. Only he was qualified to lay down his life for the sheep. Now the last few verses, 27, 28 and 29, My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. My Father, who gave them to me, is greater than all, and no man is able to pluck them out of my Father's hand. When we are in with Christ, we are his. And he owns us. See, he created us in the beginning. He redeemed us. He bought us back from the grave. Now let's take time to pray to God. Oh God, what a joy it is 
to talk to you today. Bless everyone that's watching and listening, that they too may surrender their life to the joys, the wonderful life of knowing Christ as their Savior. Let them give up all their sins and be redeemed and be forgiven and washed, washed in the blood of the Lamb and made whole and pure in your sight. God, come to each one and give them the joy of salvation. In your holy and blessed name we pray. Amen and amen.